Hey guys, Michael here. This is just going to be a really quick tutorial um, for RenderMan. Uh, someone asked me how to install these specific RenderMan uh, materials from the RenderMan website. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. The materials are this file here, which is the big RenderMan library, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is extract this file onto your hard drive. Um, for me, I've done it to the C drive uh, slash RMS library. And then we'll go back into RenderMan and we're just going to open up the Hypershade editor like so. Uh, and then we're going to go to tabs and we're going to create a new tab and we're going to call it RMS library. Um, and tab type is disk because what it is, it's going to call your uh, disk like uh, sort of like Windows Explorer does. So what we're going to do now is choose the root directory, so where it's going to open up into, and it's in the C drive. So let's go to my computer and C in RMS library. So you can see it's got a couple of things there, and I'll show you those in a second. But uh, once you've chosen the root directory, so for me it's going to be this RMS library, um, click open and create. And you'll get this tab at the top here. So let's create some geometry real quick. Okay, so let's go back to the Hypershade editor. So um, it's worth noting uh, to bring these into the scene, it works slightly different um, than uh, what you might be used to. So a good example is this Rust one. So these are .ma files. Um, so when you right click on them, you import them. Um, like if you were importing a rig or um, like a, a model with textures and stuff sort of assigned to it. Um, and what it will do is it'll do all this business here. Um, basically, my understanding of this, and I, and I haven't used really these textures before, so I'm not so confident uh, on how they work exactly, but I believe it's because they're using 3D textures similar to the way um, a skybox would work in a game, sort of. Um, you can actually see it's doing something over here. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to want to keep these extra bits of like fake geometry in the scene because if you don't uh, it's going to ruin your displacements so uh, if we just go to windows outliner you'll see it's popped all that stuff in the outliner so you can easily just group it and then control h to hide it and then if we just grab that square uh, that cube rather and then go back to materials you'll see that you've got the material uh, shader there uh, the sorry the rust shader there so I can just right click on it and hold like I normally do and then assign to selection uh, and now that cube is going to have that texture assigned to it um, and this texture is a procedural texture so um, it's good if you're just blocking out big scenes and that sort of thing and you could probably layer it over um, you could probably layer it over other textures as well I haven't really explored these much so you have to forgive me but as you can see the cube has now got some rust applied to it. Um, I'll show you one more thing. There's a there's a lot of stuff in here and I'm not going to go through all of it, but um, you'll see it's got lights. You can bring the lights in very easily, um, just like you would with normal lights. Um, and it's also got, let me just see if I can find it. It's also got these um, rigged scenes. So you've got this outdoor environment, which has sort of got like uh, it sort of would look like an environment shader, sort of, uh, but it's got some actual geometry for like mountains and stuff. Um, but this rig auto is actually, I was, I was having a look at before, it's quite good. So I'm just going to import that in and crash uh, Maya. So I'm just going to restart Maya and continue this. Okay, so if you go to rigs, um, you can right click and import this auto rig. Um, and it actually gives you a nice little. Uh, environment for lighting models. If you click the textured button, um, you can sort of see the ground a little, uh, a little bit better. Maybe yeah, flat texturing is probably a little bit easier. Uh, so if I render this out, um, you'll see that you get this nice little studio environment. So these are the sorts of things that are included with the um, the big random man library, which are, are worth looking at as well. Obviously, this is going to import all that extra geometry into your outliner. Um, 
so you can see it there and it's got all the um, sub tools there as well so uh, just bear that in mind if you import a texture and you notice that you get all this extra stuff in the outliner group it and hide it um, and then you can just keep reusing that texture uh, on objects in your scene but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it um, now it's just a matter of going through in the hyper shade and finding materials that you like the look of um, you know and applying them to your model uh, just by right clicking and putting it into your scene uh, if it gives you this you can just hide it and then um, just you know uh, create a polygon a really small polygon bring up your hyper shade editor um, now you can go back to materials because it's in your scene it will be also in your um, materials stack um, and then pick the material which is this one I believe yeah and there you go you get the uh, texture applied to your object um, also just one final note uh, I do think a lot of these textures have been um, have been actually uh, sort of bundled in with the uh, Pixar Disney presets so for instance um, like gold if you replace um, you'll notice that um, you get a pretty convincing gold texture as well. So I'm not 100% certain if they're the same as what's in the Renderman, uh, the big Renderman library or not, uh, but that's also worth checking out if you weren't aware of it. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So another question answered, hopefully. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this has helped you all out. Uh, click like if you have liked it to help other people find it. Uh, subscribe as well uh, because I'll be putting out more tutorials this week actually. So um, yeah, until then, happy rendering.